Over the weekend, the church celebrated the feasts of Saints Peter and Paul, and they are venerated all over the world, especially in Rome, where the buildings that hold significance in their lives include a prison. EWTN Vatican journalist Benjamin Crockett has more. Hidden below the church of St. Joseph of the Carpenters, among the ruins of ancient Rome, lies the city's oldest maximum security prison, the Mamertine Prison. Situated at the foot of the epicenter of the Roman Empire, in front of the Forum Romanum, the center of public life, it was a clear warning symbol of Rome's unappeasable justice against its enemies. It wasn't a prison for petty thieves, it was the prison for the enemies of state, for the most important people uh, that uh, they, they wanted people to see uh, the, that these people were being tortured here and they were being sentenced to death. Accused of treason for refusing to ascribe absolute power and divinity to the Roman Emperor Nero, tradition holds that this is the prison where Saints Peter and Paul were held in captivity before their martyrdom. Despite the harsh conditions of their incarceration, Christian tradition recounts a miraculous event said to have occurred in the deepest level of the prison. Peter was able to give witness to the gospel even here in the Mamertine prison. His own prison guards who were watching over him, uh, he was able to tell them about the gospel. And they listened to his words and they welcomed the message of the gospel into their hearts and they wanted to be baptized, but there was no water with which to baptize them. So Peter would have had uh, water spring forth miraculously and he was able to use that water to baptize them. After their incarceration, tradition holds that St. Peter was crucified upside down in Nero's circus on the Vatican Hill where the obelisk called The Witness still stands today. St. Paul is said to have been decapitated since Rome did not allow its citizens to be crucified. His severed head allegedly bounced three times, miraculously giving rise to a source of water each time that it touched the ground. Peter and Paul showed great courage. And with their martyrdom, it meant uh, embracing the cross, embracing the cross in their lives, and not only in an individual manner, but together. Peter and Paul, who had very different personalities, different approaches, different charisms, still had a great respect for one another and wound up sharing together the experience of martyrdom here in Rome. Over time, the Mamertine prison became a place of Christian worship, just as the Colosseum and other places of Christian martyrdom in Rome. The frescoes from the first centuries adorning the ancient prison walls undoubtedly testify to this. Whether or not the Mamertine prison was the actual places of St. Peter and Paul's incarceration, their lives and deaths are without a doubt a testimony to a persevering faith. In Rome, Benjamin Crockett, EWTN Newsnightly. Thank you.